Boom! Let's call it chairman efficiency, shall we? Oh, don't tell me you hadn't any chips or beer at your side. You should have you learned your lesson by now. Anyways, welcome to Sicily. Realistic battle in the Focke Wolf 190 F8. And as you can see, I have a enormous, gigantic, ginormous. Is that even English? Doesn't matter. I have a big bomb. And um, I wanted to show this to you because I'm not sure how long this will be in the game. It's a recent addition to um, the Sicily map in particular. And as you can see, <laughs> there is a gigantic cluster of nearly 30 trucks. And as easy as that, you have a you have a really really big score at the beginning of the battle. This is your golden opportunity to grind certain ground strikers or stock planes without any real effort. At the moment, I have absolutely no idea how long it lasts. As you can see, really big score. And I'm not done yet. <laughs> People were wondering what I was doing with those 28 ground kills and 2550 base experience I already got. And uh, yeah, I was a bit trash talking in, in chat. And I also was at this area and I spotted a P51 a few moments later and yeah try to convince him for some rolling scissors <laughs> and he fell to the bait I was a little bit overcorrecting here another roll as you and as you can see this plane is really heavy roll out of the way and he decides to just run some speculative shots in his direction and I was just following through. I assumed that he was going for this B109 and 217 cluster so to say together with the other P51. Spot that crashed or shot down P47 on the way. Put some extra shots into him and his colleague in the P51 happily goes into a head on with me. Bad idea and the other P-51 which I guess was the guy that was running previously just decided to go into a turn fight you just don't do this in <laughs> in realistic battles yeah, and that was a armor piercing shot yeah basically after that um, I had another head-on with another P-51 which was again low onto the ground and people wonder why American teams have such a hard time. Yeah, that's why. Now that's, that's basically it. That's basically it. That's the battle. And when we come back to the final screen, you will see how much I actually earn. Now, the reason why why I um, have chosen this battle or this recording was basically I don't understand what people uh, in the Gaijin headquarters think when they do those changes to the live server. This is not the test server. This is the live server. Still patch 1.57, as you can see in the right corner and because recently when we had the last test with the enduring confrontation there was a nerf towards the German 30mm MK103 or indirect nerf as they have um, yeah, corrected the damage or changed the damage model of uh, AI ground units in particular they said they have done it with the light pillboxes uh, that they now um, can take as much ma uh, damage 
as medium tanks, but it was the other way around. Now medium tanks have the same, yeah, hit um, covered or hidden hit point system as pillboxes. But still, you can destroy pillboxes with 50 cals, but you can't destroy medium tanks, at least from the front or the side, which is kind of, you know, normal or to be expected. And this was, I guess, um, a nerf because the Germans were winning so often with ground units by destroying them or hunting them down with uh, the, um, the 30 millimeter long barreled version. And it seemed to be a problem, but I don't understand why then after that they implement this ginormous cluster of, of light vehicles that point wise count as medium tanks. Now let's have a quick look at the post-battle results screen. As you can see, nearly uh, 85,000 silver lines and 5,000 research points. Uh, I have to say I also had a 30% um, research point bonus or um, booster activated and also a ginormous 4,765 um, base experience. You don't get those results very often. Yeah, basically, I have no idea why Gaijin makes such changes. I have absolutely no idea. But if you have any idea, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe it is um, a test series, so to say, for the upcoming patch 1.59. And yeah, we will see how it goes. So, thanks for watching. Anyways, please give this video a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, it would be nice if you do so. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Okay, okay. A bit more cinematic footage just for you.